So how do you tell when a YouTube content creator is just full of crap? This is a word. Hey y'all, welcome back to some Food for Thought and today I'm gonna do something a little bit special, something that you're not used to from me. I'm gonna actually conduct a scientific experiment in this video to um, get to the heart of the issue we have of credibility with YouTube content creators. Now, some of you have really expressed some concern. How can you know who is credible, who is not? There are so many voices out there and it's just impossible to gauge. So I'm actually gonna use a technique that was developed by a fellow content creator who I really respect and love, Foot Soldier. Foot Soldier came up with a great chart that he used to show that there is an undeniable link between groups like ISIS, the KKK, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, the Animal Liberation Front, and even like regular old, you know, vegans. So let's get right to looking at that chart and then I'll come back and we'll talk about the results. All right, so we're gonna make our little chart here of criteria to gauge whether someone is basically credible or somebody who's just full of crap, right? So the criteria, first of all, is we're gonna, we're gonna notice that that person has little to no knowledge of the subject that they're talking about, right? So little to no knowledge is gonna be apparent uh, and that's gonna be, you know, that either the person is gonna say, well, I don't know very much about this subject, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway, right? So little to no knowledge. Um, you know, a big thing that we're gonna catch from that person is that they're gonna be cherry picking. They're gonna show us very few examples of what it is that they're talking about and probably from not very, you know, you know, they're, they're going to show us very few examples um, supporting their case and likely it's going to be very few examples in an area where there are many, many examples to the contrary of what it is that they're saying, but that's just something else we're gonna, we're gonna notice about this individual. We're gonna notice that they're, that they're, um, that they've done poor research, right? If any, that ties in with obviously no knowledge, right? And cherry picking as well, but you can have little knowledge, but you can do a lot of research, right? You can present a fair amount of research to support your claim and make you a little bit more credible, but you know, uh, often we're gonna see that these people having little knowledge and poor research combined, which is, I think, like the one-two combination for, you know, somebody who's just full of crap. We're also going to see a fair amount of speculation, right? So they're going to say, I don't see how it's possible for this to happen, right? You know what I mean? So there's going to be a fair amount of that speculation going on. Um, and a little bit of speculation is not terrible, but uh, just the fact that, uh, you know, it's going to be this combination. This is going to be mostly what we see from the individual that's full of crap. And then finally, we're going to get wild conclusions, which I think are different than um, speculation because speculation is just you're drawing something out of nowhere, right? And I think wild conclusions are where you like say things like, um, you know, rocks are hard, tests are hard too, so tests are rocks, right? So that's the kind of um, wildly drawn conclusions that you're gonna expect from the person who's just, you know, a not, not a very credible person when it comes to um, their thoughts on a topic. All right, so then who are going to be our uh, subjects for this? I thought we'd go with an old favorite, Unnatural Vegan, just because I think that they're an old fave that people tend to know. Uh, in this category and I'm gonna include vegetable police even though vegetable police is not necessarily somebody who engages in a lot of this kind of wild off-the-cuff stuff they did last year do that whole thing whole Holocaust denial thing which I thought was relevant here and you know was I think was good for putting them on a the spectrum of course we can't have a video talking about credibility without vegan cheetah I think that's important and then I thought I'd round things off with um, including um, foot soldier right so foot soldier is somebody who's now apparently in the 
social commentary game, you know, talking about social issues and making all kinds of uh, claims around that stuff. So yeah, so here are our folks that we're gonna focus on and here are our criteria. No knowledge, cherry picking, poor research, speculation, and wild conclusion, right? And so then we're gonna give us some grid lines here as well. So we wanna make this as um, scientific as possible. And then also to like really make this scientific, we're gonna use um, blue because blue is for boys. And since, you know, most of these are boys, the, I thought blue would be a great color. And then we're gonna use green because I think green means, I just like green. The combination of these colors is gonna make this a really scientific looking chart. So let's get right to this. Unnatural vegan. Uh, I think a lot of people who watch Unnatural Vegan might feel that uh, Unnatural Vegan is, you know, maybe even an expert, but uh, Unnatural Vegan discusses, you know, science and health uh, topics. But every now and then we'll, Get, uh, we'll talk about a subject where, you know, Swayze just doesn't have any knowledge whatsoever. So I'm going to give Swayze uh, a check. I actually give, I'll give Swayze a green check because Swayze's not a boy and I said that blue is for boys. All right, so cherry picking. Does Unnatural Vegan cherry pick? Absolutely. Does Unnatural Vegan do poor research? Absolutely. Um, uh, Unnatural Vegan will present... Um, information that we later find out was either just com in com you know incorrect or it was money that was you know funded by a you know an uncredible you know group it was basically a study that was done for the meat industry to counter a claim that was against the meat industry so yeah a natural vegan definitely does unnatural vegan speculate uh, i feel like yeah a natural vegan is constantly you know talking about people's um motivations on things and yeah, I would say yeah. So generally speaking, so I'm, um, you know, we're making this scientific. So I think that that is um, definitely. And then drawing wild conclusions, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, unnatural vegan, definitely. Maybe not as much as some of the others, but you know, definitely engages. So now I'm going to use the blue because now we're talking about all the boys. So vegetable police, especially when we're talking about their knowledge of the Holocaust history. Um, yeah, so they fail there. Uh, vegetable police for cherry picking. Yeah, especially if you're going to show us, uh, you know, an article that shows that the concentration camps were like country clubs. Absolutely. Poor research. Well, there's no way that um, the vegetable police made a, a Holocaust denial video that was well researched, right? So speculation, basically, you know, just kind of speculating that any of it was worth looking at in the first place. Yeah, definitely. And then wild conclusions, de de um, vegetable police drawing the conclusion that Jews, you know, control the media. Definitely, I would say, was a wild conclusion. So yeah, definitely fitting the the, the, you know, the profile of somebody who just doesn't know what they're talking about. Okay. So then, um, moving right along to vegan cheetah, does vegan cheetah, um, uh, talk about things that he has no knowledge of? Absolutely. So no knowledge check. Does vegan cheetah cherry pick in his presentations on his videos? Absolutely. Vegan cheetah, poor research. Does vegan cheetah do any research? I don't know. I mean, I guess I've, I've heard Vegan Cheetah say a lot that he heard from his, you know, he heard from his like little spies or whatever. So I think that that's poor research. Speculation. Everybody knows that Vegan Cheetah's big thing. In fact, I think it was a catchphrase. Speculation, right? You know, we can only speculate, right? So that's Vegan Cheetah. And then drawing wild conclusions. Absolutely. Vegan cheetah draws wild conclusions. Okay, so now um, let's go to foot soldier and like and 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 this is um you know mostly in terms of the recent videos that foot soldier has been making on um, subjects like whether or not uh, black people have. Um, you know, have racial barriers or, you know, definitely on their recent video comparing, you know, Black Lives Matter to the KKK and also comparing them to uh, ISIS, you know. So in terms of that, all right, I, I would say 
basically in terms of ISIS, the KKK, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, uh, and even the uh, you know Animal Liberation Front, I would say that uh, Foot Soldier has little to no knowledge on any of those topics, right? And even makes that clear in their videos cherry picking well including the you know larry elder clip and then picking those you know few obscure um video clips of folks who might may or may not be from black lives matter basically presenting you know things that are hearsay and folklore to talk about you know real groups as when there's so much written about these groups around so yeah just definitely cherry picking poor research going right hand in hand with cherry picking speculation absolutely and then drawing wild conclusions I would say definitely drawing wild conclusions especially when uh, I think the conclusions that foot soldier tends to draw don't even mesh mesh up with the uh, the evidence that um, they've presented in their videos so there you go so definitely as you can see from those results all of those YouTube content creators are basically guilty of the same share of, you know, just absolute bullshit. I don't know, or maybe you think the method is bullshit. Anyway, you can see that I put a lot of hard work and thought into it, so I definitely hope you appreciated it. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.